Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's session, we are going to see one of the interesting app in the market. The name of app is App Dynamics. The app, this app is very interesting for business perspective. If you have the enterprise application, that means your application is used by the different argument or dif different models of your organization. And you want you would like to trace down the functionality and the behavior of your application along with the network usage, memory usage, etc. Then this app is important to take in consideration. The look and feel of the application is very simple and it is easy to learn also. I have downloaded this a free version of app. No need to download any physical software for this. You have to just sign in to this App Dynamics website and they will provide you the trial version. The trial version looks like this. It is as good as the real version or the licensed version. It has various sections such as at top you can see the home, applications, user experience, databases, servers, analytics, dashboards and reports alerts and response and you have the settings option also now before going to see the features and the characteristics of this application we should have some knowledge about the enterprise application the enterprise application even for example consider you have the your you have organization and in your organization you have developed one customer friendly or customer application where a customer can see the your product, purchase the product or the sell uh, or sell the product on your website also. Consider the website such as eBay or Amazon or any other website, which involves a lot of user interaction. Also, those interaction we stored in the persistent data. For example, databases like DB2, Oracle, etc. So we should aware about those details also. Along with this application and the database the third and the important con uh, component is nothing but the servers we use the servers to achieve the processing of the user request and performing the various actions so we need three basic components the application database and the servers in order to see how application is behaving and how can we monitor the application so once we got captured all this information we are ready to use this app dynamics tool i would say it is tool because it's going to, going to give us uh, so much information which can be utilized to optimize the application also to fix the problems in the application also so once you get the application so you can uh, go to the home page once once you once you get the license version of this app dynamics you can go to the home page and in the home page you will see the three section overview section unified monitoring and getting started so in the if you have recently visited some component that will be listed here currently we have the two application in my current user i have created my app the sample app is default present we can create our own browser also so br browser means the component which we want to show in our view or in su means suppose we are monitoring the app dynamics and we want to see or we want to target most critical components only so in order to do that we can create our own browser so this is very first screen unified monitoring you can go to there and you will see some of the components such as browser apps mobile apps applications database and the server so you can add this component as you proceed further getting started is a tool which will help us to create all these components such as create connection to the database create connection to the servers etc because we need to create that connection before without connection to those components will not able to gather the stats or statistics so how to connect to that how to create the connection that will be achieved using these tools 
so let's go ahead and start creating one sample application in order to create a sample application let's click on the getting started and here these type of applications you can configure for now you can see we can configure a java application dotnet application php application node.js application or python application right now in the trial version i don't have other options like other technologies right now but most of the applications belong to these technologies so we can monitor this user experience you can create a browser using for a real user synthetic user then we have the mobile ios and android databases you can configure the databases servers you can configure the servers and you can get the analytics also now let's try to create one java application in order to create java application click on the java and here it will ask us to configure download few of the agents because whenever you integrate app dynamics with your developed application you have to some you need to have some interface to connect them and that can interface is nothing but this controller is provided by this app dynamics so you have to download this using this uh, download option once you download this agent you have to uh, just register your application with this agent and it will connect it will create one application for you so let me go back um, similarly uh, you can create the real user you can create databases you can create servers let's try to create databases so i will show you you have to choose the database for example if i select oracle and it will ask us the what is the prerequisite make sure you have the enough memory in your system etc configure the controller also download the agent and your you have to register so your application will be registered so so that your the information can be gathered so on the same line you can create the browser etc so so that is a pretty much a simple components of the home page for example let's go to the application so you can go to the monitoring and click uh, application it will give us if new feature comes in uh, recent updates so this is the application view you can click the create application there are two ways you, by which you can create the application create application using getting started wizard or you can create application using manually so we will see all these features very soon but right now let's have a look on the the existing application and that is the sample application so i'll go to the application and click this sample application so when you click any appli uh, given application it will give us a report so the very first section of your application have the application dashboard then you, ha you will have the business transaction service in endpoint tier tiers and nodes servers database calls remote services troubleshoot and more options such as information points jmx compare releases scalability analysis correlation analysis also important thing that is alert which is required for the business to inform or to get the more stats at real time then we have the metrics browser so these are the components will be available for your application as well once you configure that so let's go by one by one so application dashboard so when you click the application dashboard on the right hand side you will see one panel which will give us dash dashboard events top business transaction transaction snapshot and transaction score if you click on the dashboard or uh, that will be available immediately it will say the information such as 255 calls per minute uh 37 errors per minute so those details and this is happening through http protocol also it has the rest services which is java on the node one 264 calls per minute 37 errors per minute and this is the sample mysql database is getting used so these are the details will be displayed now suppose 
if we click that application it shows us the information about that application so this is the rest services or is it's very normal right now it has in, these are the calls these are the errors if you go to the nodes it will give the node information it, if you are the servers right now there is no server but if you are the servers configured the servers will be shown slowest db and remote calls will be registered if they if there are there any business transaction will be listed here so th for example these are the business transaction happen so far now you can see the response time for the transaction is one millisecond how many calls 179 calls has happened calls per minute is 13 errors are 179 and errors per minute are 13 it also shows if there is any java error let me scroll this little bit so java errors are also listed app product calls errors all those information will be listed here you can see here the breakdown of the calls by the business transaction if you want to see more information this information icon will be available to get the information you can just click that and this shows a breakdown of the performance for each business transaction then we have the incoming request how many incoming requests there are four uh, incoming requests with the HTTP protocols and this is the calls per minute these are the number of calls these are the number of errors and these are the total errors errors per minute are 37 and total errors are 558 what are the errors these kind of errors you are notice in your application illegal argument JDK severe messages etc and all kind of errors will be listed which occurs in your environment so for this you need to connect to the database you need to connect to the application and also you need to connect to the server these are the basic thing required to get these stats if you go to the database just click on the database and it will show us the information how many calls per minute it is getting this database so this is the dashboard you can click this uh, graphical view also it will give us at this particular moment calls per minute are over observed here sum is 264 count is 2 you can see at what moment at what stage how many calls are there so as the time changes the values also changes and this image is automatically refresh so no need to hit the refresh button or anything else so you can see at the any moment it is giving the stat so right now there are some errors also we observed almost 14.6 percent so it gives the error percentage also so for example you want to see this 265 calls just click on that and it will give us a detail a report so this report is not mandatory to look right now but this is the view where you can see the overview of your application the events events tell us what are the events has occurred in your application you can filter particular event you have the actions such as delete event archive event start a war room test action because if something critical happen in your application you need to discuss with your business so it's good to uh, collaborate such collaborate such uh, with the team to fix such issues register application change event export grid data so that export and send to business next section is top business transactions so the top business transactions are happening are update and product there are some SQL errors also happening delete and java errors also happening this is the response time which is in millisecond at the bottom you can see the errors and slow transactions also health rule violation and also by stalls so these are the information you can see in your top business transaction transaction snapshot so this is the sample app we are going to see and in the sample app these are the transactions are happening at particular moment so this is the current time and this is applic product is getting called there are some other application where we have noticed errors that is also mentioned here so this is good way of analyzing the data particularly if you are administrating the application what are the actions available for this transaction snapshot we have the delete archive copy link then export etc show 
slow and error transaction so this is these are the most important why application is slow in order to determine that this is going to be helpful Diagnos diagnostic session and we also have the periodic collections to get the more information about these transactions we have the transaction score which will give us the information about the slowness of application error information etc for example this is the very slow if the application is going very slow this color will be notified slow if the application going slow if the application is stall if the application the error these are these are the errors and normal will be this so during this time for example at 8:24 we got some errors also we got application successful calls so 232 are the normal calls 30 were the error calls so at each section you can monitor and you can see what is happening during that time so these are the basic things we can see on your application also it will give us capture the event snapshot etc now so that is the dashboard in the business transaction you can see detail of the business transaction so in application dashboard you can see the business transactions these are the top business transaction but if you want to see all the business transactions you can go to the business transaction and see all the business transaction if you want to perform any actions these are the actions currently available on this business transaction view options if you don't like this so uh, means if you want to add any particular uh, section you can add that you can see that it is immediately get added CPU usage block time etc so you can see those details immediately add got added and it is the screen is automatically adjusted so you can see the particular action also configure if you want to configure the business transaction you can just click on the configure and use this tool to configure the particular transaction we have the backend detection error detection service endpoint data collection and also call graph setting so we will see in detail all these things in upcoming session but right now we will have just overview service endpoint it help us to configure the service endpoint means for example your application is a restful service then you can call configure the rest service in this case for example for the product we have the rest service which actually getting the around 3585 calls we can filter it we have some actions which we can perform and configure tiers and nodes which will help us to configure the to check the health of the the services so we can check the hardware we can check the memory for example let's check the hardware so this is giving the hardware information on the this is running on the web node let's get the information about memory so it's give the jvm is 65.1 percent on node 1 hip maximum is 126 jvm cpu is 525 and you can see the the information if you have the multiple nodes on each node how much it is going to use that will be displayed servers if you have the multiple servers that will be displayed here for now there is no servers available database calls the so how many calls this database is getting this is these are the call registered and uh, 600 per minute are normal normal it is getting so that is average it is showing so th this is the details about the database if you want to see in detail you can just click on this arrow and this symbol it will gives the more information about the database also you can configure database as the same like other components then remote services remote service if you if your application using any remote services that can be registered here troubleshooting if something is happening how to fix that that is the section you have the slow response time so there will be some information given if you have the slow response time where it is happening and uh, what actions which can help that can be determined for example if your application is slow because of the database activity so you, you have to check the database and fix that in the troubleshooting we can see the slow responseness errors if what are the errors occurring 
and suppose these are the Java related errors so then you might need a code fix so kind of thing information you will get health rule violation so you can define your own health rule for so that your application can perform very well over the period of time war room it will give us idea to add the war room how to add the war room and uh, how to share the information with other people we have the other more information also like information points jmx and the compare releases etc so that you can work accordingly the next section which i like most that is the alerts and response because something goes wrong then we need to send some alert to specific team so that that team can take actions as per need so for this we need to define policies health rules action email digest email template http request template etc so add alert and response overview looks like this it has uh, input from performance metric and health rule and based on that it will generate event rather it, it will trigger the event and it will send the notification the reports and the actions to the respective team so this is very important for monitoring purpose if you have any other application you can select right now a sample application if you have suppose if i choose my application the things will change accordingly so if you want to check the alerts for the if you want to configure the alerts for the database server or analytics you can configure accordingly email and sms configuration so you can configure the sms server as a email server also you can configure for the sms setting so that the appropriate messages will be sent to the respective team http request template you can configure you can just click on the new button and it will provide us the more information which we can provide so these are the details about the application you can quickly see and you can monitor let's let's go back to the application section so here is a dashboard you can see the edit current flow you can change the flow you can change the parameters like instead of millisecond if you want in second you can do that here the icons which will give us the image or the diagram in the different look and feel for example you want in the list format you will get in the list format if you want in the dot format it will give in the dot format if you want in relation format you will get in the relation format if you want to in a big picture you can just click it can see in a big picture you can narrow down also so these are the things which are more user friendly can be configured for example for this uh, you can filter we have the filter option you can filter on particular nodes or on particular server or on particular user transaction you can do that so this is very simple this is the dashboard which saw the dashboard this dashboard is same for the all the applications what are the application you configure then user experience you will see the user experience some new updates on the user experience so if you have your own application you will create it suppose i want to create my own browser you can just click browser and click ok second let me do that let's go to the user experience user experience is specifically for the usage and add app create application okay i don't want to create app rather i want to create a, a browser so i think i already created browser that is the reason it is not allowing let me delete it so let me delete this yes i want to delete it Click delete and now so now if you see the user experience it says create browser app so it will it will create a browser click ok go below and give any name like let me give my browser to it's very simple and it will create 
after a few minutes so we can meanwhile render other things let's go to the database you can add the database here so there is currently no database available so in order to add the database you have to go to the get started and as i said in previously you have to select the database right now database available are db2 microsoft azure sql microsoft sql server mongodb mysql oracle postgresql and also we have the cybage so these are the database you can configure of course you need to download the agent etc on the same line we have the servers so you can configure the servers also for example solaris server so if you want to configure the server you have to just get started provide the environment where your in which your server is available such as linux windows mac os solaris etc if whether it's a 64 bit or 32 bit again you have to download the agent so that your uh, my dynamic app can communicate with your server then we have this analytics which will give us some idea about the what is going in your application we have the dashboard and reporting you can create your own dashboard so by default we saw that what kind of dashboard we have if you want to edit that dashboard and create your organization specific dashboard you can create it so this is my dashboard and also i created my reports also right now there is no report because i have not connected my server and application to this tool then we have the alerts and responses you can de define your own health rule also for example these are the health rules currently available you can just click on the add button and define your organization rule so this application should satisfy all those health rule also the business rules so that you can send those uh, information or the events to respective team you can define your policies you can define your own actions too for example let's click on the action and you can define here action send email or start diagnostic session on the selected business transaction etc so it's a very useful tool and it, you can control so many things you can send the emails to respective team and make sure your team will be available at that moment so this tell tool is going to help you a lot in your organization in order to maintain application and to have the better end user experience so if you remember we created one browser so this is my browser automatically get created so no need to worry until that action complete it will take care automatically internally so this is my browser you can see this is not any other application this is my browser and this is the by, by default setting got available so you can see, update this setting edit the sessions etc as per your need for example in this browser i can see the i can see the response time across the country and um, there are so many options available i like this personally tool and um, i would recommend you guys also have the experience of this tool i have a look and feel and i would recommend if you have the enterprise application use this applic uh, use this tool to monitor your application if you have any questions or queries about this tool you can mention in the comment section of this video thank you again and have a nice time